Spotters, welcome back to Bally Springs. Now, obviously yesterday we had quite a bit of rain, so we couldn't really do any mowing. But today it's nice and sunny, albeit a little bit dark. It's 8 o'clock on October morning. So, we're going to get some grass done. Now, obviously we need to bang some in the bunker silo just there. But also, we need to keep some hay for the TMR. So, what I'm thinking, if I do... Field 66, 67, 68 as hay, and then 64 and 63 as straight up grass. Yeah, put those two into the bunker silo, those two as hay. That's the plan, anyway. So, what we'll do, we'll get cracking. Now, where's my mower? <laughs> I don't even know where I've left it. I think it's in the shed over here, actually. In there. Ah, oh, there it is. Right, so we'll get cracking the first three fields of hay. And that can be banged in the silo. And then we'll get cracking with the grass fields. Chuck it in the bunker. We'll see how we get on.
Right, so that's the well first first three fields done. Moan and Tedded. I mean it's like it's just gone quarter to one. I mean that's taken ages. I'm thinking, yeah, it's a bit tight around Bally Springs, but I don't think it's that tight where we need to use the stuff we currently got. I think we can go a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna nip down a shop and I get something that's gonna allow us to go a little bit quicker. Yeah, I'll see you back up here in a minute. So this is what we've gone with. We've got the Vicon. Yeah, front and back mowers. Obviously, that's got the swathing ability as well. So I'm just doing straight up grass. Well, to be fair, and the hay, because we can just use that. I mean, we swath it all in one row. That then is wide enough. The jobs are good. Enough. Now, what we've gone on as well is this. Eight metres some maz. Oh, it's got to be done. Now, this should be probably the limit to what we can use on here. I think if we go any bigger, we're going to struggle to get in the fields. But, this should be a lot easier. So, let's get cracking with this then. So that worked really well and to be fair I didn't think it was that tight getting in so I'm thinking is there something else we can go bigger up? Hmm I'm going to nip down the shop, I'm going to rent it because I don't want to sink some money in and it just like be totally unusable so we'll give it a go first on the rentage and I'll see you back up here. Right so here we are, first test, I've gone for the TARDIS XL. Oh, and the traffic's going <laughs> speeding past. Can I get it through here? Oh, yeah, it should be all right. Oh, that's all right indeed. Now, can I get it into my own little yard? Now, this way shouldn't be that much of a problem. Because obviously it's a better angle. The other way, yeah, that might be a bit of an issue. Oh, yeah, we're in. We're in. Oh, this is going to make it so much easier. 200,000 litre capacity. Not a problem. Right. Oh, that's a bit tight. Okay, let's get cracking with this then.
Oh, and there we have it. Now, to be fair, that was a little tight getting into the main yard. But, you know, you get the right angle and it's it'll squeeze through. Well, that being said, yeah, the first half of that took ages with the small equipment. So I'm glad we've gone for yeah, bigger stuff. At least double the size anyway. Now, where am I going to park this? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I've now run out of space. That's <laughs> shocking. Well, that being said, though, I mean, it's five o'clock. Yeah, it's getting a bit late. Especially to be starting those other two fields. They may have to wait till tomorrow. So we should whip through it with those new mowers. And with this forage wagon, we should whip through it really quick. Oh, excellent. If you've enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. Whilst you're down there, why not hit the join button? Come join us on Andy's farm. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's muchly appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.